Okay, as you see here, I have set up a rather simple scene here with a ball and a box and yes, it is the default cube and a plane below and I have turned like just say I do this, join areas, this is what you got. I then go up here and I split and I go to shader. And in this shader, I press the N to remove this because I don't need this. And I switch from object to world. Inside world, we got this background here and the shader. And I'm going to add the four environment shaders for the HDR images. So I'll take this environment texture here and I'll duplicate this by Shift D. So I can add the four images and I'll go open four rather different images so you can see what's happening. And as this is spherical HDR maps, I'm going to set this as mirror ball. So you got the four images ready. I'm then going to make some space here and I'll add Mixer, RGB Mixer. And I'm going to duplicate that as well. Shift D and Shift D again like this. I can then add these two into this mixer and these two into this mixer. And then join these in this mixer like this and then into the background. As you see now, we get a rather confusing background because we have mixed everything on 50%. So we start by taking this and putting this to zero. This will select if it is taking the pictures from this mixer or from this mixer. Up here, I put these to zero as well. So now you're watching the top image here from this one. If I then take this slider and put it over here, it switch to this image. I can then switch this mixer, which will make it go from this mixer to this mixer instead. So switch this. And we are on this image now. And I can then switch here again and we are on the last picture down here. And you have switched between all four. And if you want to animate this, it is pretty easy. You can animate all these values within the mixer. So let's go to image four. I'll set my mouse cursor over here and press the I key, which makes a keyframe. I can then go to frame 20 and set a keyframe again. I can go to frame 21 and then I switch this and set a new keyframe. As you see now, frame 20. 21, then I go to 40, then I switch this mixer, make a keyframe first, go to frame 41, switch this mixer so it attached to this instead, and make a new keyframe. Then at frame 60, I'll go to this, make a keyframe, 61. Put this to max and set a new keyframe. So now, 20, 40, 60, you will see it will change the backdrop. But of course, the viewport here can't render it as real time. Uh, but you should see if I slide here, then when we pass frame 20, you will see it changed the background. When we pass frame 40, it will change to background 3. 
when we pass frame 60 it will pass to background 4 that's it guys so have fun and um, yeah good luck